Kevin? When? When Volcanus hired a Tekadon machine to go after Ben nine episodes ago, Inspector 13 shows up to evaluate its failure. After some usual Ben 10 shenanigans, his ship overloads the watch, causing Gwen and Kevin to turn into Ben's aliens. Ben? Not exactly. This is one of the most memorable episodes of UA. There's not much to dissect, but that's because the whole concept is simple, but they still do a lot with it. You put the trio in a scenario they've never been in, against an enemy unlike any other, and you get loads of fun results. It's usually frustrating when the Omnitrix is played off as being more janky and less powerful than usual, but when Inspector 13 is hacking the watch, it works in-universe and also works comedically. Good luck hacking the Ultimatrix. You'll never- Firewall 1 breached. It's a bit of a tease the moment that Ben gets master control though, but we don't see him utilize it. Master control access granted. But having the Ultimatrix broken in this specific manner forces Ben to go through this venture in only his human form, but he doesn't feel totally nerfed. Cool to see Nanomech be useful too, even though it's just Kevin and not Ben. It is curious that Gwen was still able to create mana constructs in alien form, perhaps showing just how powerful the spark is inside her. And I like the acknowledgement if Ben retained any other powers. The Ultimatrix gave us your powers. Did you even check to see if you got ours? Oh man! Inspector 13 is a unique case. He has all the makings of a terrible villain. Emotionless, slim backstory, and and one-dimensional motives. Yet, all of those are on purpose, ironically making him pretty fascinating. He's got a very unique way of speaking, too, and loads of various gadgets to counter a variety of scenarios. Revising analysis. Omnimatrix is fused to Terran Adolescent. Anomalies extant. He's sort of like Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes if he was an evil scientist. It's notable that he's an excellent fighter, too. Usually brains sacrifice brawn, but 13 here has both. Also feels like Greg Sipes and Ashley Johnson had a lot of fun voicing the aliens, but after multiple other episodes gave us special voices for these kind of scenarios, it makes the awkward performances stand out even more. Let me tell you something unstoppable, take it on, battle robot! I am getting sick of them acting like Ben is incapable and doesn't train, even though we see him train in both human and alien form many times before, and actually does a pretty good job on his own in this very episode. I like that Ben so written very nonchalant and jocular when speaking to 13, but doesn't cross into obnoxiously egotistical. Will you surrender the Ultimatrix? Nope, but I'm glad you finally got the name right. This is another great example of how to do a cocky Ben the right way. We've seen both Kevin and Gwen get unique looks to their transformations when appropriate before too, which is also lacking here. I want to say it's because the Ultimatrix is still linked to Ben, but based on UAF's track record, it's probably done just because it's easier that way. I wouldn't say it takes away from the fun of these two trying out Ben's alien forms, but it does hinder it. Clockwork showing up accidentally through Gwen is probably the most unique way a transformation has ever appeared before. 13's design is a solid blend between scientist, doctor, and sci-fi horror. I love the look of his laboratory too, and the fact that we see multiple rooms of it all looking different from each other. And to put things lightly, I could go on about how incredible the animation and storyboarding for this episode is. There's so much creative technology used here, it's definitely a must-watch in terms of visuals. It's also cool to see Gwen, Ben, and Julie wear special outfits here in non-special scenarios. Kinda surreal to see them sport Ultimatrix symbols too. This is another episode where it's not that important to the franchise, but it's still important to the fanbase. Although, not quite on the level as some other hidden gems outside of story arcs, it's still pretty notable. But entertainment is the story's greatest strength. It's a wacky adventure that isn't bogged down by its own premise, and one of the highlights of UA. This is the perfect blend of silliness, action, and Ben 10 variety. If you're looking for an easy but fulfilling watch, Inspector 13 is right for you. <laughs> Okay, never do that again.